There's a lot of deadly things here that will kill you. We have poisonous snakes, although I haven't seen too many poisonous snakes. We have boar hogs. I've been told they can kill you if, uh, if you run into one in the woods and he decides to take you on. But probably the most, one of the most deadly things is right in front of you there in that hole. See where that ground is dug up at the base of that tree? Well, something has dug up a yellow jacket's nest. I don't know if that was a boar hog or if that was a, um, what do you call those little things that has a little rat face? that everybody says not to kill. Uh, possum, could be a possum. I don't think it's an armadillo. I don't think armadillos basically eat roots and stuff. Uh, but anyway, whatever it was, the animal exposed that yellow jacket's nest and I walked right past that over there to pick up a block to put under that trailer a while ago. And what happened last year when I was down here building that building is I, I walked right over a yellow jacket's nest and I got stung many times before I could get out of their range. So what I'm going to do, especially since that's all open and they're out here swarming, is I'm going to squirt that with gasoline and set it on fire. And you can watch. And you might think that's cruel, but you might think that's cruel, but you, you try getting stung by a swarm of yellow jackets. You want to talk about cruel, painful dangerous, harmful, yeah, it's all those things. So what I've got here is I've got a mustard jar full of gas, and I've got a long-handled stick. I'm gonna take this long-handled stick and I'm gonna wrap the end of it in a paper towel and make a little, like a little torch out of it. And I'm gonna put a little gas on that. And then I'm gonna go squirt the rest of this all on that, all on that, all on them. And then I'm gonna set that on fire. Now this is something you wouldn't want to do if it was dry, but it's pretty wet here. We've had a lot of rain, so all the vegetation and grass under there is pretty wet.
There's actually part of that yellow jacket nest laying on top of the ground over there. You see that thing? It looks like a circle. It's like just above where the stick is and to the left of the big tree. It looks like a little circle. I think that's the yellow jacket's nest. I think whatever got into that pulled it out of the ground, literally. Uh, I wish I'd have got more fire on that in particular. And it's still got yellow jackets around it. Maybe I can set this on top of it and get it to catch. It might work. But I need them to be gone. I don't need them to survive in any way. What I might do is just keep an eye on that. If I see them come back, I'll come back and do that again. My mustard can is empty. Maybe I could push that over into this right here. Yeah, let's we'll see if that helps. See if that catches. That's the nest right there. I still see them flying around over there. I might need to go get some more gas. Do it again. They're still, they're still flying in. Hmm. I'm gonna do one more thing. I thought I had some hornet spray, but I couldn't find it. But I've got this crawling insect killer. I'm just gonna spray it all over where their nest is because they keep coming back to it, and I just I don't want them living there. I don't want them to move back in. I suspect that w because the nest was pulled out, that probably the queen is. Uh, gone and they'll abandon it eventually but I just want to make sure because they still I can see a dozen of them flying around that thing right now and uh, I want them to leave and never come back so I'm gonna spray that whole area down with this stuff hopefully it'll spray far enough so I don't have to get real close to it Well, it didn't spray very far. I was a little nervous about being that close to them, but I noticed a lot of them stopped flying when this stuff went in there, so hopefully it's doing what it needs to do. Let's see if that does the job. I don't see them around in there anymore. Probably the biggest reason this is crawling insect killer is if you're trying to kill flying insects, it only sprays about a foot or two, so usually if you're going to kill flying insects, you want to be able to kill them from a distance so that they don't get close enough to sting you. But I put a lot of this, there's a one big hole that goes down under a root there where they're all going in and out. So I put enough of this in there to kind of coat that with this stuff, so hopefully that will do the trick. We'll find out.